Hey everybody, thanks so much for checking out this video. Today, we're gonna do a walkthrough of how to set up RSVPs on your Zola website. Super simple, really easy, happy to help you out. We're gonna check it both on web and on the app, so I hope you're ready. All right, so first up, we're gonna talk about setting up RSVPs on the app. So the first thing you're going to do is you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have a guest list uploaded. So you're gonna go ahead and click on the guest list option from the home screen. Now, I've already added some guests. As you can tell, uh, you can find our video on how to upload a guest list or add plus ones or anything like that later on the channel. Feel free to check that out or reach out to us if you have any questions. Now, once you've added your guests, you're all set here. The next thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is you're going to want to create an event. Now, the events are housed in the guest list. So as you see up here, there's an option for your events. You're going to go ahead and click on your events. Now, I have uh, no events set up. So let's go ahead and set up just one event for my wedding and uh, we're also gonna do a reception. So we've got our wedding. Uh, and the event name is going to be our ceremony uh, and it's going to be uh, on the 30th of November 2022. Let's just say that. You add in all this information here and then the next thing you would want to do is if you want this to show up on your schedule page you can mark it as public if not mark it as private and then you're going to want to make sure to select to let guests rsvp on the website now you can add other items to it like uh, you can add any attire suggestions or any notes to the guests and then, for example, uh, this one, I'm going to have just include both my ceremony and reception. Um, so I'm going to edit that here. I'm going to have our ceremony and reception. And I'm going to go ahead and add a meal option. So you can add as many as you'd like. Um, we're going to have a chicken option, going to have a steak option going to have a fish option, and we're going to have a vegan option. Now, uh, once guests RSVP, they'll be required to submit their meal options. Then there's also an option to add an RSVP question. So I'm going to ask, do you have any dietary restrictions? Boom, there we are. And that's all we're going to do here. I've set up that event. You can add more if you'd like, but that's all I want here. So we're gonna save our changes. So we've added a guest list, step number one. We have created an event. So what's next? Well, the best thing to do and the next thing to do is to turn on your RSVP page. So you can either go back to the home page and go to your website, or you can hover over the plan option and click on website. Now that you are here, you're gonna scroll down and you're going to go down to the RSVP page. And you'll see at the bottom here, there are toggle options. Mine is already turned on, but yours might look like this where it's gray and has an X. That means that the page has been hidden. Just go ahead and click on that. It'll turn on the RSVP page and it'll give you the option to check the guest list and you're all set there. Now, your guests should automatically be uh, invited to the events that you've created, but if they're not, you can always double check this. Click on the guest list option. Then when you're here at the your guest list, if you hover over that drop down menu, you can go to invite guests to events. Now, as you see, my event that I've created just now, our ceremony and reception is here in the column, and then all of my guests are listed here. And I've made sure that all of the guests are checked in this checkbox. That means that they can RSVP by going to my wedding website and typing in their name. All set up. That's all you got to do. I know. Super simple. So let's go ahead and take a peek and see how it looks on the app. You ready? Let's go. All right, so on the app, once you are there, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna start off in the guests and RSVP. And here, you're going to want to go into your events. You can always create a new event, as you see mine is already there. But if you haven't, go ahead and create a new event. It'll walk you through the same process that it was like online. But to make sure that your guests are invited, you can type tap on the event that you want, 
then tap on the attendees option at the top and you'll get the same guest list here and you want to make sure to choose all of the guests that you want invited to that event. Then you can just click the back button and head back to the home screen. Then to turn on your RSVP uh, page from the app, go ahead, tap on the website section, scroll all the way down to the RSVP page, go ahead and tap on it. Then once you're here, you're gonna to wanna to go into the edit settings menu and you're going to go over here where it says this page is included on my website and just go ahead and turn that toggle switch right on and save your changes. All right, now the RSVP is active on your website. Then just make sure that your website is visible by clicking this little, little toggle switch right there, make it visible and you're all set. Perfect. Well, I hope that's been helpful. Now, happy planning.